So you've been using CareerAI and you're getting all these wonderful results because now you know how to make custom agents and you're getting all this data in a very interesting, intricate way. And now you're wondering, but Hector, you showed me how to set all of this up, but I'm still having to go highlight the text I get as output and then I have to copy and I have to paste it in a Word document or in my Notion account. You know, it's AI, it's supposed to be easier than that. And you're absolutely right. I did not go over any code editing at all, aside from just like copying and pasting, you know, whatever, whatever custom, whatever custom response you got from ChatGPT for making your, your custom tests and your custom agents. But I do want to add this in this tutorial just to make sure that you guys have, you know, a way of making sure that whenever you ask something to your crew on your, or whenever you run Cree AI, that you're able to just get the output, you know, saved on your computer, right? So all we're going to do is we're going to add a few lines of code. It's going to be very simple. And I did want to go over one more detail on Python. And again, if this is the first video you're watching on Crew AI, and we haven't set it up, I have a video in the description which will take you on how to get started setting up your environment. It doesn't matter if you have no coding experience. It doesn't matter if you've never used VS Code or any of these tools. I start from scratch. I start on a brand new computer with no programs, no packages, nothing installed. And we walk you all the way through to this step to where you can start using Crew AI. Awesome. So the way we're going to do this is here on our main file. Yes, we're gonna do a little bit of coding, but I'm also gonna put the code you need in the description. So you only have to type it. You're, you're literally just gonna to have to copy and paste it. So you read here at the end where, this is where we get the results, right? Whenever we get our, whenever we start our crew program and we ask it whatever we wanna ask it. In this case, we built a mechanic crew. If you take a look here at the response we get, we get this message that says, here's your custom crew run result. And then we get, you know, the answer that we received from our input or from the analysis it performed. So rather than just this showing up in our terminal, because again, I know you're not just going to be reading this. You might, you might get a very interesting answer that you're going to want to reference later. You might want to email to someone. You might want to share it. So in this part of the code is where we're going to input the code that we need in order to get it to save to a file. And I already have that right here. And if you're wondering, no, I'm not a Python wizard. I literally looked this up on ChatGPT. So I think that's a good habit. If you want to try it on your own, ask ChatGPT to write your code um, for your Cray AI project. And then we're just gonna paste it here. And again, this right above this part, right before it prints it out to your terminal. All right, so as you can see here, this is just the command that creates a new file called crewaioutput.txt. This W is just to write, and then here it's just telling it what else it's gonna put in that file. So it's gonna format it the same way. It's gonna tell it, here's your custom crew results. It's gonna print the results that we got from crewai, and it's gonna save it to that file. Now, the one thing you do need to be careful about with Python, I don't know if you notice here, but all of these statements are in line if you look down on them, right? And then you have this width right here, which is just a little bit farther back than the rest. Now, this might not look important, but if you try to run it like this, you will get an error in Python. Python is very picky about making sure that all your statements are aligned properly. And not just with spaces, you actually have to use the tab. So I'll show you right now what I mean. So we're going to run our python main.py to run our query AI project. And another thing, before you run your program, after you make any changes, make sure you go to file and then click save. It's gonna save the changes to your file. If you try to run it without doing that, it's not gonna run it with the new changes that you made. All right, so now we're gonna to try to run our query AI project with this indention in it. And right away we get an error it didn't even start up and here you see it it says indentation error and I mean it is what we talked about right so the way you correct this is you just have to delete here and then you're gonna press the tab and that puts it in line with the rest of the other statements above it so now we're gonna make sure we file save we can click command s control s depending on what computer you're on and we're gonna start it again so again, this was our AI mechanic or our AI mechanic crew. So we'll just give it, we don't even get, need to give it a code. We can give it symptoms. We can say something like, there is fluid at the bottom of the vehicle. And then we can give it another symptom. We can just say 
the fluid is kind of clear it doesn't really smell like anything so obviously i'm just talking about an antifreeze leak but that's not important and when your project finishes running it's gonna save it in the same location that the rest of your it's gonna save it in the same location that the rest of your files are here we can see that it has a crei underscore output dot text from the last time we ran it all right so our crew finished running so let's take a look at the results real quick so here it's giving us some recommended action so we're going to right click here build in finder and you see here in your folder where it's at just click it and here we have our saved output for the thing we asked crew ai and that's basically how you do it i know this was kind of a short tutorial but i kind of wanted to give you all a break from the long one i did yesterday and also when i try to look this up online i couldn't really find a quick short video on how to do this and i know for some people that might be a little bit frustrating i did find some tutorials that had it but some of these tutorials are a little bit longer there were 30 minutes to an hour so i just wanted to make sure that if somebody else looks this up or they're just trying to get a quick answer on this they'll be able to easily implement this from this you can just rename your file if you want you can you can copy and paste it here put it on word put it on notion if you don't use notion yet i definitely recommend you try that tool it's going to help you out a lot just to organize any files any projects anything you're working on and yeah though technically i get you still have to kind of copy and paste it'll be a lot easier to save this text file than to have to go through the terminal highlight all that copy it and then maybe you forget about it one day right and on another note, I really want to thank you all for watching these videos. I see that some of you are subscribing. I see that some of you are following through with all of the tutorials. Some of you are even asking me questions. I really appreciate that. It helps me make better content if I know what it is that you're having trouble with. And also if I know that you have interest on this. Technology is something I'm really passionate about, specifically the AI field right now. And with all the amazing things that you can do with these tools, I think it's really important to help show others how they can use them, how they can implement them. But first and foremost, how to install it and set it up. If you want to keep learning about AI and get updates on the content, be sure to join the Facebook group, which I've linked on the description. And if you have more specific questions about how you can apply tools like Crew AI into your business or your personal projects, you can also book some one-on-one -on -one time with me through Calendly. It's going to be completely free. Just click the link below, select one of the dates and time. We'll hop on a call. We'll talk about whatever questions you have, and I'll be more than happy to help you out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.